welcome to the part 2 of similes and metaphors in pathology as i told you this is a collection of similes and metaphors in pathology some of uh, which are really familiar to all of us while the rest have been compiled from various sources the first one as you can see that these are a pair of slippers and we uh, identify epithelioid cell nuclei as slipper shaped so these are the nuclei of epithelioid cells as you know that these epithelioid cells are modified macrophages when i say modified macrophages that these have abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm and then they have pale staining nuclei which are elongated and thus resembling that of a slipper and the collection of epithelioid cells as you all know is a granuloma the second one is a tennis racket this is an electron microscopic uh, image uh, showing bierbeck granules and these are cytoplasmic organelles which are tennis racket shaped and they are exclusively seen in langerhans cells this is an electron microscopic finding as i already told you uh, this is a rare type of histiocytosis and the presence of uh, these granules you know helps in differentiating from other uh, histiocytic proliferative disorders the third one is the cauliflower and we always uh, refer uh, any tumor you know as a cauliflower like growth this word is used to describe the gross appearance of um, most of the malignant tumors where the growth is fungating and then they are referred to as cauliflower like usually seen in squamous cell carcinomas although any malignant tumor can show this morphologic appearance uh, in this case you can see that this is a cauliflower like growth uh, seen probably in the colon and the fourth one is as you can see that this is uh, an anchovy sauce anchovies uh, these are the small common salt water forage fish and the sauce made out of it is anchovy sauce and the pus collected from the liver abscess looks like that of an anchovy sauce and that's how the name anchovy sauce uh, like pus it's usually called caused by entamoeba histolytica yuck Anyway the fifth one is swiss cheese swiss cheese is a name given to a variety of cheese in north america where uh, which resembles the cheese uh, that originated in switzerland hence the name swiss cheese the distinctive feature of uh, this cheese is uh, the presence of holes or uh, they are referred to as eyes in them which is developed due to the fermentation process Uh, in pathology this swiss cheese hyper, uh, appearance is found in cystic hyperplasia of endometrium where you know uh, the you can as you can see that uh, the endometrial glands are of variable sizes showing uh, variable uh, degrees of dilatation thus resembling that of a swiss cheese and uh, it was also referred previously as cystic glandular hyperplasia a uh, second one uh, but not uh, commonly called this is an adenoid cystic carcinoma the cribriform pattern of adenoid cystic carcinoma one of the most uh, common salivary gland malignant tumors okay you can you can clearly see that you know there is uh, variable uh, cystic uh, dilatation here and that's how uh, sometimes not always referred to as swiss cheese pattern well it is of, uh, often referred to as cribriform pattern not uh, swiss cheese The sixth one is uh, fingers. The villi of small intestines are often described as finger-like. You you might have studied in histology that uh, villi are finger-like, whereas in pathology uh, we describe when we are talking about squamous papilloma. Uh, finger-like is used to describe these papillary projections, and uh, in squamous papillomas and in papillary carcinomas, you can. Uh, see that these are the finger like uh, villi which are lined by tumor cells this is a papillary carcinoma of thyroid so the seventh one is the chocolate and you can clearly see that this is a chocolate cyst of ovary i hope you know why this is called chocolate cyst because it it just resembles that of a chocolate it's a, a type of ovarian cyst the chocolate cyst are a type of ovarian cyst resulting due to endometriosis and this is also referred to as endometriotic cyst or endometrioma and these cysts contain thick brown colored fluid uh, which is chocolate colored and that's why it's called chocolate cyst of ovary and the brown color is due to the um, presence of you know enormous amount of hemosiderin laden macrophages which is again uh, due to the presence of old blood 
the eighth one is the honeycomb in bronchiectasis on gross examination the lobes show this honeycomb pattern and the pattern is honeycomb because of varying degrees of dilatation of bronchi and bronchioles okay and the ninth one the last one is uh, orphan annie i hope you all know this character this is a character from an american comic strip i um, mean strip which is uh, uh, referred to as little orphan annie Uh, the peculiar feature is that this Annie, you know, uh, the vacant circle was one of the distinguishing feature of Annie. Mm-hmm. So, in papillary carcinomas of thyroid, the nuclei resembles that of often Annie I nuclei. That's because of ground glass appearance of nuclei in papillary carcinoma, which looks like that of a vacant uh, strip of eye, as described in the cartoon. that's the reason why it is no uh, known as orphan any i appearance so guys that completes the similes and metaphors in pathology part 2 go to uh, ilopathology.com for more similes thank you for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to share thank you